What is up beautiful people? Welcome to Live Life. And today is Saturday. I'm out here in these streets. I have my app on um, and I'm driving Uber Eats. So a couple days ago, I had a subscriber reach out to me and ask me if I had any tips and tricks on how to make money with Uber Eats. And when I saw that question, I figured obviously he doesn't want to waste his time. He wants to make money in the most effective and most efficient way possible because once you're on the app, you can make money, right? Now, I've been on the app for um, over three, four months, but I only started driving Uber Eats maybe uh, three weeks ago, three, four weeks ago, and I only started really making real money probably two weeks ago a week no a week ago let's just say a week and a half ago right it's about a week and a half ago to be precise with you guys so one of my tips for you guys off the bat right is to locate the areas in which has restaurant activity and is around residential areas you need to know where the hot spots are in your area one because this is very important because you can not approach uber eats like you do uber they're two different platforms so uber you could turn your app on from home people need rides from every location with uber eats it's more of a specific central location where rides are dispatched from based on how close you are to the restaurant because people don't want their food an hour late. So you can't be 10 minutes away or you know 20 minutes away. I've seen rides where I'm literally a mile away from, from the restaurant, two miles away, three miles away, the most four miles away, right? So generally the app is searching for drivers that are, or delivery drivers that are super close to the establishments that need to dispatch these delivery orders think about that you need to know your area you have to understand the demographic of what is actually going on in your area now with that being said yesterday i left the house super early 7 30 so that i can literally understand a lot more about the overall atmosphere of this platform so I could understand you know the breakfast orders things like that and what I realized is that in the a.m. in the morning there are different areas that are more busy because morning orders are typically people who are you're delivering to people who are at work you know who some people residentials residential people who are at home that want to eat an early breakfast they don't want to go out so it's kind of like all over the place but mainly you'll be situated in a different location than the restaurants because then now in the morning the bakeries are more um, of a demand they're more in demand than the restaurants are so that is information that's so that's important intel to understand because why would you go downtown or why would you go downtown or a different area uh, for early morning eats if that's not where the demand is so you have to understand those those types of things in the morning bakeries in the afternoon uh, fast food evening restaurants late night late night is fast food in the United States all right so I laid that out first of all because you know the, the most recent thing that happened was I woke up 730 to drive Uber eats right and those are some of the things that I, I realized I realized that the bakeries are popping in the morning so remember
remember guys bakeries in the morning bakeries fast food you know um in the morning uh in the afternoon restaurants fast food in the evening mainly restaurants and in the night you got fast food fast food alone i mean mcdonald's takes over after 10 o'clock okay guys now let's talk about some of the tips and tricks that you need to have to make money i'm not talking about 30 40 dollars a day i'm talking about 200 dollars, 300 dollars a day money right one of the things that you guys want to do is you obviously want to sign up for the app secondly you want to make sure that you have your uber eats turned on so if you don't have that turned on call um uber customer service and have them turn it on for you now after you do that i told you guys about finding areas busy areas on the app it will tell you what areas are busy so if you don't want to spend the extra gas to go to the air bus the busy areas if you don't want to spend the extra gas to go to the busy areas then you just miss out you have to invest because this is your business you have to invest gas and time right to get a outcome a favorable outcome and if you don't invest gas and time you wouldn't get a favorable out outcome so you want to do these in in effective and efficient ways it takes me twenty dollars to gas my tank and i've been driving on this tank for about two days and i made over 350 on twenty dollars so that shows you that you know if you invest 20 bucks you can get um a lot out of that right so it is worth the investment time i probably uh drove about 20 maybe 20 hours so you want to be consistent that is the number one thing you want to be consistent in the things that you do in the patterns that you have so last week what i did just to give you guys an example i would drive from three o'clock to twelve o'clock every day three o'clock to twelve o'clock every day and i had one day one day rest right and with that regimen i was able to learn different things so if you're one consistent if you drive to the locations that are busy these are the two things that are going to give you the information that you need now to now become a better more sophisticated driver right in your first couple of weeks obviously that's that's what you want to do you just want to test out you're not going to make a, a bunch of money you might waste some time but that's okay because you're going to learn some information that you didn't know previously you're going to learn a lot about where certain restaurants are you're going to learn about specific uh locations that are busy at certain times and this is the information that you want to download whether you write it down or you keep it in your notebooks make sure you have this information so that when those times do come up where you're not making money in certain areas you're able to relocate to different areas that you know might be popping that you know might have less drivers because everything starts to evolve after time like this week specifically i i got mainly longer rides and the reason i think this is happening is because the areas the busy areas that i'm going to a lot more drivers are now on the road they need money and they're going to the town area so the town area is saturated so what uber is doing is sending drivers a further away so with that being said when i'm sent further away in different locations now this week i've been picking up more intel on different areas that are busy so for example i'm in orlando the main um i'm in orlando right this is the where the main area that i drive orlando so what they would do is for example 
uh, Uber would send me on a delivery from uh, from Orlando to uh, Winter Park or they'll send me to from Orlando to Maitland or they'll send me to from Orlando to Altamont and then I would have to figure out based on what risk I'm willing to take do I want to stay in Altamont and learn that area or do I want to drive back to you know Orlando now waste gas and and not have any rides so one of the things that I do now is that when Uber sends me out to certain areas I think okay they're sending me out here for a reason maybe there are orders orders out here so I take that opportunity and I utilize that as best as possible to my advantage and usually in those areas they're, they're, they're longer rides in the towns it's shorter rides because you're delivering to people that live a mile two miles three miles away close to locations so you want your first couple weeks of driving uber you want to definitely pick up on different types of intel different types of information that you can utilize in in a uh, low um unbusy spells that you're gonna have while you're on the platform because if you're on the platform that means you want to make money and if you're not making money that means that you're going to become frustrated with not making money so you have to invest a little time a little gas and drive to different locations that might be popping and a lot of people might say yeah but i just want to wait for a ride but then again you gotta think how many people are actually coming to this specific area to get rides as well and how much uh how, how much of sharing pool does uber have you have to think about those things so the sharing pool has to be huge in the city right um so you have to go to different areas where other drivers you have to go to where other drivers aren't willing to go to get rides and usually in those areas i pick up on a lot of rides and a lot of tips because certain areas like altamont springs and uh let's see lockhart different places there are big tippers out there you know um they live further away from the city you know they have bigger uh, houses maybe they haven't used the app much and they want to tip more guys you never know what I've also learned is that people that frequently use the app they use the app based on they use the app based on information that they already have so it's like if I'm using Uber Eats every day I'm not gonna tip big every day. I might tip one or two dollars. So that's what I see mainly um, in in certain places. Like I could tell people who utilize, you know, Uber Eats often, they don't tip as heavy, but they they do tip. And you know, some people don't tip based on maybe they think it's a small ride or whatever. But guys, you just it's just something that you have to figure out on your own. You have to create your own recipe for success, right? Um, you know with that being said um, let's go to you know another uh, tip and trick and I'm just going off at the top of the dome right um, okay I got it right so I'm basically going off at the top of the dome right guys um, let's see what's a what's another tip and trick right one of the things that um, apart from being super consistent and um picking locations to drive um you want to have an off day i would recommend that you take an off day and i do this one off day because you need to rest right you also want to wake up the next day at the the correct time so that you can be very advantageous on your runs now here's the next tip and trick that is going to gonna make you a lot of money right I'm gonna go to this one It's short and simple right this one is make sure make sure when you're delivering to customers make sure that you're greeting them um, appropriately when you meet them and when you say bye to them make sure that you have manners guys make sure that you're a welcoming face because or a happy face because what I've realized is that when you're very super polite to customers they want to repay you they you're memorable to them you're memorable to them so you have to try to be as memorable 
to each and every customer that you come in contact with so that you're able to now utilize on that opportunity that Uber is giving you to create a tip as big as possible, as big as the person wants to tip you based on how nice and how much of a good customer service person you are, right? Um, so guys, you want to be, you want to have manners. You want to, you want to be someone that is memorable to the customer. You want to, you want to make them feel like, oh, wow, that was a, a very interesting person that I just met, right? You want to make them feel that way because I mean, hey, you know, everyone you know everyone might not be having a good day and you might just be the person to brighten their day and the next thing you know you're walking away with a, t a $20 tip you're walking away with a $15 tip right and that's up to you uber gives you the rise but it's up to you now to follow through and when you follow through then you you reap the benefits of that you know some people you might be nice to some people and then they um end up not giving you a tip and so what you keep moving forward and you keep developing and you keep being nice and it will pay off in the long run if you're consistent but if you're not for the long run then obviously you wouldn't be able to see those benefits down the road so how i look at it at, at uber is as an opportunity that is given to me and with this opportunity it's possible for me to run into different people that will give me different tips and based on these opportunities even i might get longer rides or bigger rides or different opportunities and with these opportunities up to me now to follow through and if i follow through then i will reap the benefits sometimes it'll be low sometimes it'll be super high but how would you know if you're not consistent so once you have some sort of consistency level then you'll be able to reap the benefits of what is along that path but if you're not consistent and you only drive uber whenever you need the money then you wouldn't be able to experience those highs and lows maybe you're only driving through a low maybe you're only driving through um a medium time maybe only drive it through a high and then you get back back on the app and then you drive through a low and you're like i don't even want to get on there but right after what right when you decided to stop there was a high so you have to keep those things in mind i'm gonna go and pick up the food all right guys so i just went to pick up the order from pan express and it was a three dollar order Ooh, so cheap oh my god all right guys nah that's okay that's okay because we that's okay because we're going to be consistent right so let me complete this order here now one of the things that is super important right is and I didn't realize this before, but yesterday I made uh, just about $200, right? And I wasn't able to do that before. Now, one of the super top secret things that I have to tell you guys is that you want to drive, and we all know this, right? but some of us don't want to do this some of us you know are some of us don't want to do this some of us know we need to do this but it's like yeah, why do i have to you need to drive through the peak hours right and yesterday what i did was i drove from seven to 12 30 until i got my last order right and then i went home slept got up at six o'clock got my first order probably at like 6 30 maybe um and then i drove until 12 right and throughout that time i was able to make 200 dollars, right so from the information that I've already picked up, right? Around two o'clock after lunch is really slow. So what's the point of staying online through a slow period, right? 
and experiencing that down when you can literally take a break and come back on for a peak, right? So drive throughout the peak times and the peak times might vary. Obviously, there are specific peak times that are already known, like early in the morning, seven to 10, and then you got um, 11, um, 11 to 12, one, two, you know, one, um, two o'clock is slow, three o'clock is slow. Um, and then obviously you got your your evening orders and then your night hours, your night hours, your evening or hours, they're a little more, um, they're better. The night orders, they're cheaper, less tips. Morning orders, uh, I would say that people tip on a good, they tip uh, good um, in the afternoon um, for lunch, depending if you get a big order from a group of employees, they might give you 10 bucks. So just keep keen to these different things, you know what I mean? Everything will change. Everything changes in time. Everything, you know, constantly change. But you wouldn't know if you're not, you know, being consistent with apps. So this is important if you want to be a full-time Uber driver, Uber Eats driver, right? Um, so these time slots are important. It's important for you not to burn yourself out. So if you wake up at seven o'clock, you go until 12, you take a break, you go to sleep, you, you chill out, you run your errands, and then you come back at six or five, and you start until you know you make the amount that you wanna make or until you wanna go home. So if you wanna stop at 10, then you get back on the app around four, and um, you call it a day, you know? Now, what am I gonna say to wrap up this video in terms of everything that I've learned, right? Um, just to wrap up, right guys? Be consistent. Have manners. Be nice, be kind, be polite. Greet the customers. Um, oh, one thing that I did leave out. Make sure that you are sending thank yous to every customer that sends you a tip. Super important because I'm thinking that, okay, Uber is collecting all of this information for what? For, spe for a specific reason. Um, and that specific reason is, that specific reason has to be to determine what type of employee you are. And if you're a good, better employee, than a bad one, what's gonna happen? You're gonna get more orders. Nice. All right, so I just delivered that order right there. Um, so, make sure you're doing that. Um, and just to uh, get this video out for the people who want to do, this is super important for the people who want to do Uber full time. Um, so be consistent, pick up on trends. Um, trends are super important and understand that you know, you don't want to burn yourself out. So you want to take breaks. You want to take breaks in terms of um, how many days you work. Maybe you take one day off a week based on how much money you need, you want to make based on your financial status and uh, kind of run it that way, right? Um, because at the end of the day, if, you're, if you don't have energy to output, then you wouldn't even be able to drive Uber Eats. So it's super important to make sure that you have... Oh. So guys, my, my camera is literally overheating. Um, with that being said, this is my, my tips and tricks for people that 
want to drive Uber full time and they want to make a living, a comfortable living on this app. And they want to really understand and move differently from other drivers out there that don't understand the platform. You want to move more like a sniper. You want to be able to pick and choose your different areas, pick and choose your time. So you want to move like a sniper. You don't want to move like a AK-47, right? You want to snipe at different times. You want to be strategic. You want to play smart. You want to work smarter than harder. Even though hard work does still pay off, hard work is going to get you the intel. Hard work is going to get you, you know, all of the information that you need to know to make these sniper to make these sniper rival decisions yo guys my phone my camera is continuously cutting off because it's overheating so guys much love guidance and protection it's been real thanks for subscribing to live life and i hope um that you guys have much blessings on your journey uh, success and take these principles and run with them and utilize them in different aspects of your life consistency is key hard work is key but then also figuring out the smart way to work is also key guys blessings and love i'm coming out with a lot of different more unique content for you guys and we're gonna make it happen less